So guys, another edition of Bacon with DJ here. Um, doing a little different. I'm gonna be inside today. Mmm, ain't gonna be outside no more. Well, guess what we got, guys? We got another two for one. Two for one. We're gonna be doing reviewing the two Singeli two hundred watt Fuchai and the Tsunami RDA. So we dive down into it, why don't we? Okay, first we're gonna come out and look at the tsunami. Alright. It comes with multiple other things, but as I've stated in a lot of reviews I do, um, I don't have boxes. I usually get them second hand or they're given to me or I trade off for them. I usually don't have boxes, so I can't show you an unboxing or you know what it looks like or how it looks. Um, but drip tip, unscrews. As you see in there, there's threads. See the threads? See the threads on the bottom of that? Yep. Nails look hideous today, don't they? Um, there's the airflow cap. Also, it goes. You got a single airflow slot, and you got dual airflow slots. You see through. You can see through it. Um, that's the barrel. The build deck. It's pretty unique. I got to change my cotton. I just changed it this morning, but the fluid's killing me. Bottom airflow, dual O-ring. Sits real nice. The uh, tolerances are just the best I've seen out of any RDA. Um, it's got the velocity style deck. You got the Allen keys. Um, you got massive i'm talking about massive post holes um i would say two in height two millimeter and then three millimeter across that's how big the post holes are i know it's hard to see but you can see the top one right there my camera i'm still using my crappy little tablet but anyway there's that um it's got a big juice well you look past the wedge it just right cotton there it is you see the two airflow hole the two airflow tubes that wrap it's got a huge juice well um when i over juice it i do have leaking issues but that's common on pretty much any RDA, honestly, that has bottom airflow. It's like a, what would you say? It's like a Kennedy and a Velocity put together in one. It's pretty awesome. Um, I like it. It's real nice. Just drip tip back in so I can show you. I got a Twisted 22 Nichrome and Twisted 26 stainless steel build. It's reading at uh, 0.09 at 100 watts. It does alright, it does alright. Take this off so I can show you this and gilly. Here's a fun here's a bad little mod right here. I got it and I was just like, hmm. There's very few mods I still own. That when I get them I usually trade them off to do more reviews on other things. But uh in instance I just I keep them if I like them. This has got a spring loaded 510 connection. I've stripped this one down to have that black rubbery coating on there. I stripped it down because it was already coming apart, so I was like, you know what? Take it off. I'm, soon I'll be painting this. And I'll also show you when it's done too. But this is the before. See it? Before I got a little sticker on there. Screen. It goes from 5 watts to uh, 200 watts. It has temp control and nickel and titanium. Does not have stainless steel. Um, which really sucks in my opinion. But you know, above 50 watts it goes 0.5 increments. Uh, 50 watts and below or 49 and 49.9 and below it goes 0.1. So it takes a little while to get to where you need if you're going lower watt. If you're in lower wattages. But I usually keep it running at 100 watts depending on the build. It's a dual 18650. As you can see, I painted it once. Painted the white with uh, black spots. Yeah, black spots. Um, it's held on by two magnets there. And I painted over the magnets, not paying attention. But you can see where the magnet indention is right there. And then up here, same spot. Um, still got some rubbery coating I can take off. It's uh it's still still the same battery slip. It's just in a different position this time. Got the spring loaded contacts up top, solid and solid ones on the bottom. Um also behind this, because I had to take it apart to clean it. Um behind top uh the positive post on the left is that spring to where it spring it makes the 510 spring loaded. Um I love this little thing. As you can see, I got the the, the emblems ripped off because after a little while there's a good tip to people who own these mods, or who wants one, or who has ones dropped in, it's getting a little rattly. Um, behind those stickers are two screws. Tighten down those screws if it gets a little rattly, and you also pull those screws off to pull the front facing off. Behind that, you'll find more screws to pull the battery slit and so forth so on. But uh, it's a nice little mod. I love this little thing. Cons, it takes a while. I don't have stainless steel temp control, and it takes a while to get through the settings, and it takes a while to get up and down in wattages. Uh, pros. 
it's just like every other 200 watt mod it stays on point it's uh hmm. i haven't seen any like it says it's doing 100 watts i mean it doesn't seem like it's any wrong or delayed but uh lower builds it seems like it doesn't put out as much as the screen or the wattage would tell you it puts out so maybe i've had both airflows airflow holes open no mistake It's pretty good, but uh, I would give. I, I love the way it was built. The rubbery text, the rubbery coating on there was good grip, except when you was the one major con. I'm gonna go into this one massive major con is if you see right there by the see that little flip right there that folds into the two pieces. If you get juice down there, it sinks into the mod and it sinks into see where that black piece is and that black piece there is. It sinks there and it soaks that whole area. So you gotta keep an eye out for that, or it's not going to end well for you or your mod. Um, that's the only kind I found for it. The uh, tsunami, it leaks a lot. It does. I'm not used to bottom airflow. It, it leaks pretty badly, but you don't overjuice it. You should be fine. It's it's a con for me. Not might not be a con for you guys and gals out there. But uh, I like to put stickers on all my stuff. As you can tell, they wear off fast. I use my mods continuously, daily. I use every one of them. Even this one. This one gets reused. A lot rarely, rare occasions than I used used to, but uh, it works. Anyway, that's the review on the Tsunami RDA bottom airflow, um, and the Singeli 200 watt Fuchai. Uh, this is pretty much I, I use it every day. This is my daily go to. This is what I use every day on the go, or whether I'm at the house. This is just something that I pick up and go with. I've dropped it. It's very durable. I've dropped this thing many times before. Batteries flung out and everything else. It's very durable. It has never given me any bad, bad firing issues, lock issues, um, turn off, turn on issues, not reading the battery issues or the dripper or tank that I'm using. It doesn't give me no issues. I haven't had a single issue out of it. Um, but the only there is besides the screws on there that you got to tighten every once in a while because it does come loose. Um, besides those. There's really no issue with them. Um, I would give, honestly, the build quality out of the Singeli. I would give it hmm, probably a 9 out of 10 because there's always a, there's always that one mod or one RDA or something out there that's built perfect. Um, I haven't come across one yet. Uh, the RDA, I would give it a... This is also, this is a 22 millimeter RDA. 22 millimeter. Um, if it's flush, it's down on all my mods. I've never had a connection issue. Uh, it's primarily made of stainless steel. It's got a Delrin drip tip. It comes with extra. It comes with another coned-in wideboard drip tip that comes with it, and it comes with a 510 adapter. If you buy it new, if you buy it used like I did, it doesn't come with much. Um, other than that, it's a great mod. It's a great RDA. This is my go-to. Like I said, this is what I use every day. This RDA and this mod setup I use every day, all day. I use my tube on very occasions. Yeah, this is like the just really a box person. Also. If you want to see something really cool, if you go down to my reviews, you'll see the Beast Box mod. It's been a while since I've seen it on here, due to the fact that it's uh, it's in pieces. It's gutted. It needs to be painted. This has a lot of issues with it right now. The reason it's gutted is the 510 was used in another box mod that I'm building right now that I'm working on for a friend. When it gets when that box mod gets done, I will be putting a review of that box down. Um, but I do build boxes. It's something that I just it saves money on, I guess you could say. But this one, this one's not MOSFET. And this is, I got this box back when I was a beginner. I didn't know the rules of the amps, the battery safety, or anything else. Um, and I put a really little build on here, and it heated up the button pretty bad. And thankfully, it didn't short out my batteries or explode. That's I was real thankful about that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a MOSFET in here to make it more safe. But uh, with the button, it had a plastic cover that held in the two prongs that you would solder your connections to and it got so hot from being such a hot build and the 510 being right next to it that it melted it melted all the plastic the post could the, the pins come out and it's just thankfully i think my battery's out done and i went ahead and gutted the mod the mod's going to be rebuilt internally it's going to have a brand new 510 brand new button it's all going to be brand new and it's as good as you could possibly get it but i thought i'd show you that little update Cute little box mine. That's how you know it's the beast box. 256. 
Um, but that is my review for tonight. I wasn't going to put one up, but I was like, you know what? I need to. Um, I haven't been here for a while. Uh, expect one also Wednesday on this cute little bad boy right here, the X1 Stingray 26650. And then Fridays, I'm probably going to do a juice review if I have a chance. This is going to be the juice for Friday, hopefully, if everything works out. Betty, or I might, I might go ahead and make the video in a couple of days because I've vaped Betty a lot. I um, might make the video in a couple of days and just post it up on Friday. So keep a lookout for that. Subscribe if you like to. If not, that's your choice. Um, leave me a like if you want. Like I said, it's your choice. Uh, vape strong, live long, guys and gals. And I'll see you next time.